Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something really exciting. If you use Cartoon Animator and want to bring your scenes into After Effects, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to export full scene from Cartoon Animator to After Effects step by step. It's easy and it will save you a lot of time. So let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's talk about Cartoon Animator and we can see in official website, we can create characters, head rotations, animation editing, 2D motion capture and character talking animations, 3D motions for 2D animations, puppet animations and freeform deformations. Also, Cartoon Animator support vector graphics like an SVG vector files, PSC Photoshop files and animated drawings. And we can see all the animations from other animators. So today I want to show how to export full projects from Cartoon Animator to After Effects with After Effects script CTA. We can get here AI script for CTA. Let's open Cartoon Animator and let's see how to work it. So after open Cartoon Animator, we can see demo projects here and we can try all of them, these demo projects. And we have full animation scenes with Ike and character head rotations and animals and puppet animations, bone animations and motion graphics or full animated characters. So let me show some quickly features. Let's choose this character and double click for into the scene. And first let's delete this text and select this character. First one, let's click play for C animation. We have head animation, body animation with bounce and lip sync animation and let's go to click this face key editor and hold this icon and we can change head like this and also we can use templates, let's open template, we can use these templates for face animation like this also, let's go to click this icon for 2D motion key. We can make animation with the bounce like this and we can choose here. Okay, nice rigging and we can create way better animations or we can create better rigging like this. And we have full access to this rigging. It's awesome. And again, we can control this rigging. Let's Go to click this icon and we can control rigging here like this. Very useful rigging. I like it. Nice, very good. And tail. Okay, very professional. Go to back and let's double click this animation. And I'm gonna use this project. And after C animation, I want to export to After Effects with CTA. Let's see. Let's click play for C animation. Okay, we have three scenes here. This is first scene and next scene and last scene. Let's first delete this text. And in this time, we can again control all chief frames, rigging's and face animations. And we can see After Effects log here. Let's click for export to After Effects. And we can choose all assets here also camera and background and shadows and there is all png sequence okay let's click export and write character animation so right now i will export json file let's click save and click ok and waiting for render settings also click export and let's wait for export all projects so guys, after exporting, let's go to window and as you can see here, cartoon animator, AI script and let's open and interface is very user friendly. Let's click import project and just choose character animation file, click OK and wait for importing. OK, import project completed. Let's click OK and here we go. We have full animation scene and after effects from cartoon animator. Let's add some details for this animation. First of all, let me show project inside files. We have content here and PNG sequence. And let's import image for background. Right mouse, import and file. And choose this image file. Click import. And drag and drop into the conversation. And select this background. Let's go to solo. This is white background. 
and we can delete for now select image let's see we have three scenes and let's go to here let's go to edit split layer or Control shift d and let's go to here again next scene and again let's go to edit split layer and we have three background images let's first select this image one change name one and let's change here and press s change sizes and also click this icon for to the layer and this and this so select this layer press p and let's move the back to a character like this and press s change scale for c full okay not bad for opaque animation let's choose compensation settings here and right mouse trim come to work area okay and right now let's choose this layer one Control d for duplicate for add background blur image and go to fx presses search effect gaussian blur and let's use gaussian blur for layer two and change name one blur and change blurness like this let's change 25 and for work fast let's choose here quality quarter let's see okay and select this blur one go to mask and rectangle let's choose rectangle like this for this part blur and open mask one and change mask feature for smooth blur and right now we have two sides this area is not blurry and background is blurry okay and select this shadow click toggle switch mode and go to here and choose here multiply for realistic shadow let's see nice and let's go to fx presses search fx us saturation and use for sportsman layer and change lightness a little bit okay and colors and let's copy here saturation go to sportsman s and control v let's see nice and let's go to next scene select this image layer change name to let's click toggle switch mode for go to back and press p and move to back okay and press s change scale let's see let's put here okay let's see nice not bad and next animation scene choose again image change name three and press p let's move to back and press s let's change scale and move to here okay in this time let's go to here let's select this camera and go to edit split layer and go to here and go to again edit split layer and right now we have three cameras and go to middle camera let's choose camera and don't forget to remove keyframes select camera middle press u and let's turn off all keyframes like this and press c let's zoom in here let's zoom more okay let's see okay this is first camera next camera and last camera nice and we can add keyframes select this camera press p and create new passing keyframe go to here and let's move to left and here move to right and here move to left again let's select work area and play animation nice let's see again nice very good right now we can see these animations so right now we can add lights on this scene go to layer new and light we have four light types i will use spotlight click ok and go to here and let's open inside and transform let's see okay and we can change 
light direction for more realistic and let's open light options and change intensity like this okay also we can play settings for better results and let's see nice and in this time let's change a little bit light direction and let's go to cone angle change like this and hold this is the axis move to left okay not bad we can change intensity a little bit like this so right now we have more light in this scene we can add shape line animations let's go to window and open animation comes to 3 and let's start our precoms shape elements i'm gonna use particle fireworks click add and close window let's see timing okay and let's go to fx process source effect fill use fill for these particles and choose color white and search effect glow choose glow and change glow settings let's see okay let's choose this work area nice more dynamic with these shapes so final let's see full animation project okay colors is good and dynamic nice very good okay i like it very good so guys for final i want to recommend your official youtube channel and you can watch all updates video tutorials news on this channel and don't forget to subscribe channel also i will add this playlist link on the station below you can watch step by step for use cartoon animator with these videos so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video leave comments and have a good days good luck